Hi, it's day five of Nine Red Candles, and the fifth guest is Danny. Danny Shea, bathrobe to row. Not bathroom to row, bathrobe. Be very specific about that. Thank <laughs> and, you. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that up once again. I know. <laughs> well, anyway, so what we're going to do. Yeah, it's, <laughs> and I'm going to cut over to the candles. And we're going to look at the setup. Okay. If you haven't been here before, this is a nine-day ceremony. If you want to go back, you can start on day one and come in with us. Um, just, just you have to do whatever you do nine days in a row. And so what we have here is I always have a stone in the center because I work with crystals a lot. But this time when I was trying to come up with a stone, I decided I wanted something that was like the sunrise that will be on the solstice, which is the 21st. And I looked for a sunstone and I had a sunstone and sunstones were found in Norway originally. That's the first place they were identified. And they fill your heart with positive energy and good luck. The orange calcite, this little chunker guy there, I don't know why my table's not staying stable. Oh, I do because it's sitting on something. Um, the orange calcite that's right there, that's for balance, to release fear and anxiety. And if you've been following this, you know that I'm going to ask you to do two things. One is to open up and say a gratitude that you want to see growing in the light, in the new light we have now. And then one thought that we want to surrender. It's an idea, thought, word, deed, or it can be a person that we can let go of in this era of change. Because the last two eclipses we had sent us into an era of change. Then we have red tiger's eye which means passion, energy, and stimulation. Then next, it's my teeny tiny little amber that <laughs> comes from the Baltic Sea. That's actually old, way, 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 even before the dinosaurs uh, tree sap that through pressure and age has turned into a, a mineralized form of itself. And it represents our ancestors. And then the red adventuring, this stone represents acts or taking action because the things we're going to do, especially about the letting go, is to let it go, accept that action, or if we are gr grateful for something, to take an action to be happy for that. Then we have red, we have red jasper, which is balance and endurance. And Danny, this is a good one for you. They, in a lot of the things it's written up that Red Jasper was the stone of the shamans and the magicians. So you got that one. And then the last stone is the carnelian. And some of you are going to say carnelians are usually really, really red. Well, carnelians can go from a darkish orange to red. This is the carnelian. I had my drawer, guys, so it's the one you get. Um, <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get, I get snotty by the end of this whole thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take 60. Know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come the ninth day and see what happens. Anyway, um, we're going to uh, take six deep breaths, a deep breath in, wait for one pause and then breathe out. Do that six times. And then while you're doing that, contemplate on the thing you're most grateful for today. Okay, so. First breath, exhale, second breath, exhale, third breath, exhale, fourth breath, exhale, fifth breath, exhale. Sixth breath, exhale. And for those of you who don't understand about that breathing technique, that actually changes your brain waves from being reactive to being responsive. So now, as we respond to the universe, we're going to light these candles to acknowledge our gratitude for this day, the growing light, and forever, whatever came up on your gratitude list. Okay, that's the first couple. Then we also want to surrender that thought, idea, word, deed that we need to discard in this era of change, something we no longer need.
And then a little wick up because I, if I don't get these little wicks up, they don't light. Should then it's important to get the little wick up. Yeah, if it doesn't little wick up, then light. Okay, now we want to welcome the coming new light. We will use this upgrade in photonic energy to grow, expand our consciousness. May our energies be utilized for the greatest good of all. And that's Danny's candle. So fifth one, only four left. Yay! Okay. So they're lit, and now I'm going to come over and join Danny on the screen. And what you up to, guy? <laughs> well, number one, now that I get to actually say something besides little comments, thank you for doing this, because mm -hmm. I think it's super important that we, as a community, um, stay positive with all the turbulence around us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's important to do, I think, these little rituals to mm -hmm. get us out of the, the deep breathing, the six deep mm -hmm. breaths and exhale to change our, our attitudes and our, what did you said it changes our- It changes your brains from being reactive to being right. responsive. And the right. difference is you don't want to do this deep breathing when you're driving down the highway because that's when you need to be reactive. But if you want to be in a place where you can just appreciate the beauty and the things around you, you want to have your brain in a responsive mode. Correct. Correct. So this is this is hugely important so that we are not just reacting all the time. We need to be proactive, I think. Mm -hmm. However, um, this this is great. So thank you for thank you for doing this. Um, you were asking about what I'm grateful for. And when I got this, well, the thing that that came into my mind is um, that I'm grateful for this space that you've created. It's because mm -hmm. of the reasons I just said. And also, I'm grateful for the planet that I walk on that sometimes we take for granted so, so much. And when we get in touch, and because I'm a card guy, things come together for me easier. Sometimes I go, oh, that makes so much sense. When we connect with the earth more, mm -hmm. we get immunity. Mm -hmm. We build up our immunity. We take six deep breaths. We're not reactive anymore. So it's what I'm grateful for is the immunity that this space and the earth allows me to right. have. What I need to let go of is my limiting, limiting beliefs, what I can do, what I can't do. Oh, I'm not good enough for that. Oh, someone's going to find out that I'm an imposter. Oh, mm -hmm. all this stuff that goes mm -hmm. on to, into my head. And what does that stop this limits the manifestation mm -hmm. this limits us manifesting and becoming who we really can become mm -hmm. on this planet so thank you for this fifth candle thank you for this time oh well you're so um I a couple questions. What are you up to? What are you reading about? I know you started a shaman class. You're starting one. I did. Yes, I'm starting one. <laughs> um, I I put it up on Eventbrite and and have people signed up for it. So um, so you're stuck now, Danny. You got to be stuck now. And one of the, one of the unstuck things that I did is I told two people about. And mm -hmm. once you get it out of your mouth and you tell somebody, then then you're kind of real. You're doing it. You, mm -hmm. you, you got to do it. Otherwise, you're an imposter. So I don't want to be that imposter. So I have to go through with that. And that's on January. January? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, July, the second Tuesday in July. Mm -hmm. uh, July do you, you have it posted somewhere on your community page? I do. Okay. I have it on my community so, page. Yeah. yeah. They can go look at it there. Mm -hmm. and, um, 
Um, and and it's, it's a pay what you can. It's a donation thing. A lot of people are struggling these days mm-hmm. um, with, with just paying the grocery bill. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want um, that to be an issue. So the class is free and I am gladly accepting donations. Um, mm-hmm. And free means you got to pay it forward. You got to be either nice to somebody who you don't want to be nice to or something to pay mm-hmm. it forward in the community. So free really isn't free, but it's no money. Okay. And it's a short class. It's um, four sessions. So we're just going to dig into, you know, what is a shaman's journey, a, sh- a shamanic journey. And then we're going to go into the upper middle and lower worlds and cool. talk to spirits, rocks and trees. See best what they best people in town. Best people. Yeah. They normally always have good things to say. Yes, they do. Yeah. So. Well, and also you're doing a few political things. Uh, and I'm st- on my channel. I'm still, I'm still doing um, some political things. I try to add a lot of humor to the politics just mm-hmm. because because it, it's just so crazy. And then I have um, my Sunday show, which yes. is Sunday with Spirit. I watch that every Sunday. That is, uh, when I wake up, that's the first thing I go look at. Danny, put it up. <laughs> Sometimes Danny puts it up before I go to bed on Saturday night. But, you know. Well, no well that's because you go to bed. You go to bed. At crazy oh, yeah. clock. Yeah. One time I put it up the day early and I went, oops. But somebody needed it up a day early. That's that's how those things work, right? And I got I got a couple of comments. I'm so glad you put this up early. <laughs> mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. So, yeah, things appear when they're supposed to. Absolutely. And okay. we hear things when we're supposed to hear them. Right. And if you're, um, I've just did a whole series of readings about the end of June, and there's this whole period of time where what we saw in the collective was all the signs and symbols were there and people were like, no, no, I'm going to run back here and hide my hidey hole. Finally, towards one of the last days in June. So you're going to have to go watch my daily duos to figure out which day it is. Um, That's what, that's what Jeffrey. That's what Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Ripe color. Yeah. Right. And when we, when we finally hit that day, when we clicked that show off, we saw, thank God, because we get so tired of sitting in the same little stewy place. It was really there's going to be a big breakthrough for a whole lot of people at the very end of the month. And, and that's all been foretold by the way the energies have been building. And when I talk about photonic energy, we are getting more subatomic particles in through the atmosphere mm-hmm. and into us than we've had in 12,000 years. So yeah. it's, it's, and it's nothing. Somebody said, well, what can I do about it? And I go, I don't think there's any sunscreen that will help you. <laughs> You just go I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in a cave. They go through caves. The, the subatomic particles actually go through the earth. You just wrecked my plan. Yeah, and what they're supposed to do, according to some of the people who understand planet planet energies, is they're going to so hit hard the uh, hot solid iron core of the earth that sometime in 2024 around December. And don't ask me how they know this, guys, because this is not my pay grade. But they claim that the earth is, you know, how the Schumann residence has been going up and down and spinning all around itself. Right. There's going to be a one giant gong that's going to come out of the center of the earth. And that's that's why the ley lines have to be fixed by that. So if you, what do you think that's going to do to my tinnitus? Maybe it'll make it go away. Oh, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> I know. I have the same problem. And the woman today, I was talking to him about fixing some things in my Medicare said, oh, do you need an audiologist? And I'm like, I don't think they can help my kid. No. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, do you have any other fun extra things that are coming up in your life? I hear you might be heading toward Shasta. Well, that's where I'm going to go hide in the cave. Oh, well. In the yeah. lava tubes. So. And we're, you know, I'm hoping that that happens. Um, My, my RV van that Mm -hmm. I have, Mm -hmm. it has COVID. Oh, no. 
I know. I didn't put a mask on it and it was driving all through wherever. And so it's, it, it's in the, it's in the hospital getting, mm -hmm. getting fixed. Like, oh yeah. And I looked, I said, I, I think I have an extended warranty. After all I, those... kind, I, I kind of do, but it's not going to cover it. So it's like, yikes. Well, anyway. it'll be okay. Well, I don't want these things to go on any longer than we need to talk. And Danny and I could sit here and think of things to say all day. But we're talking about the fifth candle. We're talking about the fifth day of the nine. And I think it's just really important that people take out two periods of time because this is going to end on the 20th, the day before the summer solstice. So I hope everybody's going to come do something fun for the summer solstice. Yeah. I may be spending it with a reader from Colorado Springs. I'm not sure. Oh, really? Jeez. I know. Maybe what I'll go there? like shop for crystals or something. Uh, we're going to go to a crystal mine in Arkansas, actually. There you go. But anyway, so well, I hope that uh, everyone has gotten a great deal from this or you've gained enough by now you have five days of things to be grateful for. I'm going to go back to the table and show us blowing out the candles because this is the other thing you have to do. You have to blow them out because if you don't, you won't have nine candles at the end. So, hmm. do you like my candles on the pizza stone? Because last time I did it, one of the candles exploded and it started my desk on fire. Oh, I do. I do. So the kids it makes said, me hungry. Yeah, the kids were like, uh, "Mom, you can't do that candle thing till you figure this out." So, <laughs> and they wanted me to get those little electric candles, and I said, "I don't think it's the same." No, it's not the same. And now you got to be careful with your pizza stone, though, because waxy pizza, no good. No good. No good. No. But anyway, and you have a lovely evening. And thank you. We you want to thank each person who came. And we'll see you later. All right.